so I'll start with the last question and then I'll work backwards. My advice is to get started. Expect that it will be terrible. You might not be, but if you expect that, it's easier if you are. So if you guys, I don't really delete anything. If you go back five or so months, you'll see my initial post. They didn't have a story. Um, the videos were awkward. The lighting was terrible. It was really bad. <laughs> and maybe monthly, I'll go and look at the beginning of my career um, as a content creator, because I, I take it seriously as a career. And it was so bad. It was so terrible. I would post and be so embarrassed. I wouldn't get any impressions. I would get maybe one like. Sometimes the only life was for myself, <laughs> but mm -hmm. I expect it to be bad. And so it, it made it easier because there was no pressure. And so it gave me the chance to find my voice. And that's really what's important. You get started so you can find your voice and it will change some. If anyone who has been following me for a while or you look through kind of the, the content that I've put on LinkedIn, I've grown into my voice and how I want to position the content and the stories that I tell. So it was a process that I allowed to happen naturally by saying, hey, it's going to be terrible. It's going to be embarrassing. But the beautiful thing is no one really cares. And most people don't go back months for your content. So they won't even know. You'll be embarrassed by yourself and you'll forget it. And then sure. it won't even exist. So be brave. Get started. Be okay with being terrible. Keep it there for you as you grow because it will be motivating and it will help to you to further refer your, refine your content and your voice as you continue. You have to figure out, for me, finding my voice is like, how do I make content creation as natural as a conversation? And it doesn't matter if you're very confident. It doesn't matter if you can communicate very well. It's new. Putting it out there for so many people, many that are strangers, it's scary. It's new. So embrace that and just lean into it. And the more you do it, the more you commit to it consistently, you're going to get better. There's no way you won't You'll get better. And then when you do start, like you mentioned, building a community, listen to them. There are times where I'll say, what do you guys want me to talk about? What is What are people interested in? And those have been some of my most successful series and some of the best opportunities, which leads me to someone in my network um, reached out. Her name is Deanna. She reached out and said, um, hey, I think you would be great for this program. I had never heard of the LinkedIn Content Creator Accelerator program. I didn't even know it existed. So she literally reached out, DM me and said, hey, I think you'll be great for this. And honestly, I said, I'm busy. I don't have time. So I, I ignored it. And then <laughs> um, I talked to her again and she said, hey, did you apply? Here's the program. Here's the link again. Um, I think you would be great. Give it a try. So when I clicked on it, I said, I don't understand the benefit of this. I don't know. And the, and the application was, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 questions. It was not super long, but it took me maybe 45 minutes to an hour to like fill it out because there were essay questions. They wanted um, samples of your post. You had to go and find your best post and give them three examples. And so I was just like, I I have a lot going on. I don't want to do it. And so the truth is, it goes back to the beginning of being open to what the universe is presenting wow. to you. It was like, this wow, was an opportunity. Amazing. And I, I told her, I just talked to her this morning. I said, I thank you so much for not only sharing the opportunity, but reminding me. She didn't have to. She reminded me, I think, twice. And then I finally said, OK. And literally the night before the deadline, I said, let me finish the application. I don't, I don't expect, maybe nothing will come of it, but when I got done, I felt really good about it. 